Next, actress and supermodel Erin Watson graces the cover of Glow's May Issue, and we're on set with the beauty in L.A. I'm always thrilled to be working with magazines like this. It's been a great day. I mean, we're just rocking and rolling. Erin's amazing. She's such a pleasure to work with, and she has such a strong aesthetic that we sort of played with it and just added a little bit of punch from spring summer. And this cover girl is in high demand, entering her 12th year as the face of Maybelline Cosmetics. They've watched me, like, basically go through puberty in a weird way. I'm a lucky girl, you know. Fashion is known for not being loyal, but I'm still there and still selling some lipstick and some mascara. Uh, it's been, you know, a rad match made in heaven. And while she's certainly not new to the biz, she is new to social media. I had to, like, pull myself out of this archaic mindset that I had. And now it's kind of fun. Sometimes I like to take pictures that aren't, you know, full, like, done. You know, you kind of get all the awkward moments and the fun moments. Not just a pretty face. Last summer, Erin vamped up for her feature film debut in Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. I was completely clueless the whole time. I was working with Shakespearean-trained theater actors, you know, and then there's me, like this like flashing neon green sign on set, and and so every day I was scared. So will Erin be taking on other film roles? I look at film as just another conduit of creativity. So if the next film happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I got my hands full. I'm okay. <laughs>